Just wanted to show you guys the scene outside Calixo Arcia Stadium, uh, where the, the Hall Game baseball team plays. It's morning, about 8.30 in the morning. We got kind of like a yoga dance off going on over here. Uh oh, this guy's bad news coming up to me. Um, stadium, I don't think it's open now, but I think I saw somebody going in that back door, so I'm gonna check it out, see if I can get the inside view. But uh, tour guy yesterday was saying this is the biggest stadium in Q I don't know if he meant the biggest or the best, or but saying something like that. But anyway, it's pretty impressive. So, morning walks are always my favorite. You can see the bus station kind of right next door. It looks like, they look like trucks, but they're actually buses, I think, going to provinces or smaller cities or kind of like the farm areas. So, we're gonna head over. I'll be right back with you guys. Little side view of the stadium, just walking around. Um, I see cleaners and people in there, but all the, the gates seem to be shut. Maybe they're prepping for an afternoon game today. Just walking around the side, gate 13. Definitely a pretty big place, and the lights go way, way up. So, a lot of night games being played here. As I'm showing you these blue spots of paint that have dripped from uh, the roof when they were painting this place kind of all over the pavement. And it's another thing I like about Cuba. They're not perfectionists here. It just has to work. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it does work. This, this stadium, you can tell it's dated, but it does a job. If this was America, they'd be the stadium owners. Generally, they ask for hundreds of millions of dollars from uh, the state and the city where they're located, or they threaten to move. And for me, somebody who's not really a sports fan, obviously I'm against that because it's like tax dollars. People that don't like sports going into the pan for sports. Oh, look at this. You can kind of see in. I don't know if you guys can see through those bars there. I can see some uniforms, trophies, probably from when they've won in the past. Fidel Castro here watching the game, a poster of him in there. And wow, they're really going crazy with that uh, with that dance class, morning dance class. Nothing like a morning dance class to wake you up. And as you can see, I've been walking around here, well, pretty much my whole trip. I've just been walking around, kind of like being my own tour guide, asking people for help. And everybody has been so nice, so kind. Never once during this whole trip have I felt like I was in danger or threatened or whatever. Um, not really that many places in South America, Central America, the Caribbean, where you can just walk around like this, that's for sure. Even in America, for that matter. In America, there are a lot of places you can't do this. But this whole city, I've walked this city pretty much end to end and felt comfortable the entire time. A little view inside the stadium here, and interesting, interestingly, they got a garden on the outside. Looks like they're growing lettuce or something like that. And all on the outside of the stadium, they have little cafes, restaurant type things uh, that are open already, serving coffee, uh, yogurt, little pastries. And I can see they have big signs of some of their stars. Luis Miguel Rodriguez, uh, Fernanda Lafia. That's all I can see, but... Man, looks like a great place. Hopefully next time I visit, uh, there'll be a game going on.